Kim Strassel writes for the Wall Street Journal editorial page, and she joins us tonight. Kim, great to see you. So before we get into any of what we've just been talking about, there was news today from, uh, from the administration that the Mueller investigation is reaching its final stage. Do you think that's true? And what does that mean exactly? I hope so, Tucker, because two years of this is too, young, two years too long. Uh, we need some answers. It needs to happen soon. This could be the best thing that happened to the country in a very long time, if it is indeed finishing up. Well, that's, I mean, what a distraction from a lot of important things that are happening. So as someone who covers the criminal justice world for a living, give us some perspective. Late middle-aged guy, no history of violence, no passport, no firearms in the home, under investigation for over a year, emails and texts already in the possession of the prosecutor. Would you send dozens of armed men to arrest him? Is that normal? No, of course not. Of course not, and of course it's not normal. And as you said, the standard operating procedure here would be to call his lawyer and ask him to surrender. Um, and I think it gets to the other point of your opening as well, too. Mr. Mueller, unfortunately, does not answer to anyone. Um, and as a result, we can bring up these topics. You can call and ask the question, why did you do it? He doesn't have to answer it. Um, and he, he doesn't have to answer to anybody in the end. And, and that is one of the reasons that we should hope that all of this is ending, especially when you look at the list of people he's gone after and the crimes for which they've been gone after. Nearly all of them crimes that he claims that they have committed after he was appointed a special counsel, not any for the time period he was actually asked to investigate, uh, at least not of Americans. So as a constitutional question, how in a democratic republic can you have someone who's accountable to no elected person, who's accountable to no voters, in other words? I thought all power in the government emanates from voters, but Mueller stands apart. How can this be constitutionally allowed? Well, legal scholars have had a lot of problems with the special counsel law for a long time, partly on reasons that you just mentioned, just and also on accountability questions as yes. well, too. Now, look, in theory, he can be fired, okay? But what we both understand is that politically he can't be fired because of the brouhaha that would come up if anybody were to actually tell him to step down. So why doesn't this, con I mean, uh, apart from what you think of Trump, or maybe you believe Trump is a secret agent working for Vladimir Putin, but even if you believe that, why wouldn't, and you were a liberal, why wouldn't you be very worried about a prosecutor who was operating wholly outside the system and accountable to nobody? I mean, if you really cared about democracy, that would, that would terrify you, wouldn't it? Well, we've seen the left change their view on all kinds of things, Tucker. Remember, this is a party that at one point cared about abusive law enforcement tactics. They cared about the things you just mentioned, accountability, making sure that there was accountability in democracy and that someone had to answer to someone else. But when it comes to Donald Trump, they're quite happy to throw all of that on the other side. And it's been very frustrating to people like me who've been trying to write about uh, Mr. Mueller's probe in an objective way and look at the evidence out there in an objective way and say, look, would anybody like to see what happened to Carter Page happen to anybody else exactly. on the basis of the exactly opposition right. research that they use? The Democrats should be very worried that a future Justice Department might do this to one of their candidates, and no one should want that. I will defend that candidate if it ever happens. I mean it. I think this is totally wrong. Kim Strassel, thank you very much for That's that perspective. Right. I appreciate it. Thank you.